what's up everyone next up we have time skip sanji time skip sanji is one of my favorite characters in the game and i feel like he is a really big improvement over pre time skip sanji one of the best things about pre uh time skip sanji is that he keeps all the same good moves pre time skip sanji had and he has modified moves that I felt were not as good for pre time skip Sanji. So overall, he's a really nice improvement. Really strong character. One of my favorite characters in the game. So first, his square string. Similar to pre time skip Sanji's except till the end where he has a much bigger crowd control and combo potential on the end of that. His square triangle triangle string. Unlike uh, pre time skip Sanji, where that move mostly focused on juggling a couple targets, this is more of a crowd control tool as well as a combo tool. So, once again, another move I feel is a good improvement over pre time skip Sanji, as this move has more utility, more function. Really good improvement over pre time skip Sanji's, in my opinion. Next, we have square, square, triangle, triangle, triangle. This move is similar to pre time skip Sanji's, which was one of the best moves. And it's still a good move here. It has a slightly longer duration. Seems like the hitboxes are slightly tweaked as well on the final hit. Really good move. For crowd control and for comboing. One of my favorite strings to start combos with against bosses. Uh, next we have square 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 triangle. This is another move that stayed the same from pre time skip Sanji. And it's good that that one stayed the same because that's a very good move. Really strong crowd control move and really good for stunning bosses. And you can just do R1 at the end if you want to get a combo follow up. Next we have square 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 triangle. This is a really, really good move, though it's kind of similar to square, 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 triangle, but it's a harder hitting move if you use it like, let's say when you're comboing a boss. It's a stronger combo option, and once again, easy to combo after with uh, R1. So, better than having the same string twice, like 3 times Skip Sanji had. Really good move for him for ideal more ideal for comboing while you use square 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 triangle for crowd clearing since it comes out quicker but when you want to get a, a nice hard hitting crowd combo you can use square 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 triangle now his triangle strings triangle 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 similar to free time skip sanji's a really good move to throw out when you're surrounded it has crowd control on every hit and Really good at stunning bosses and dealing damage in general. Next we have triangle square square square. This is the same as pre time skip Sanji's. The kind of one move that didn't really get improved unfortunately. It's still kind of awkward to charge the full thing because it just... By the time he actually attacks the enemy you're targeting may be long gone or out of range. So I highly recommend just sticking with the weak version of it. It's actually, you can use it in combos. Much easier to follow up. But overall, I don't use the move a whole lot with him. Now, triangle, 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 square. This is the same as pre time skip Sanji's, which was basically his best move. And still his best move. Amazing crowd control, amazing combo option. Just a really really good move it's just such an amazing move this move absolutely destroys boxes next up we have special one pretty similar to pre time skip sanji's the hitbox seems modified i don't know exactly how but uh i mostly use it, use it as a combo finisher but i don't use it much at all I find Sanji's specials to be a bit on the underwhelming side, which is okay because he has really strong standard combos. Uh, special 2. 
special two is a more of a combo tool for him. The he kicks up a certain amount of targets, which he goes up for a finishing hit. Uh, the move can be a little tricky to hit if you don't hit that initial kick. The red, the finisher won't work. So it's a move that you have to you have to position well. You have to have good spacing and positioning with it. And but if you do, it's a really strong tool to finish combos off with. And then next we have his R1. His R1 is similar as a combo tool from pre-time skip Sanji's, but it's more useful to throw out outside of combos because it's a, it has a longer active hitbox and it's easier to hit because he moves lower to the ground. So he's more likely to catch a target. But still, I highly recommend only using it within combos. You can use it outside of combos, but there's not really any... There's not a whole lot of a reason to. It's usually a lot easier to just initiate at least one square and then go into R1. And it's a very good way to stun a boss too, just doing like square R1, square R1. Really good way to stun a boss. Okay, so now setups. Once again, similar to pre-time skip Sanji. Uh, Sanji has pretty unlimited setup potential thanks to his R1. His R1 allows him to string pretty much his move set together in any fashion he chooses. He doesn't have a move that he can't follow up after. So, you know, you can kind of just analyze the situation you're in and, you know, maybe you want a crowd control move like Square 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 Triangle. Or maybe you want a combo tool like Square Square Triangle Triangle Triangle. So you can do stuff like Square Square Triangle Triangle, then do R1, then do Triangle Triangle Square Square Square. If you want to have a lot of combo damage. Anything in the Triangle Triangle Square 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 is going to be really powerful for comboing bosses. You can do, let's say, let's try something like square, 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 triangle. And then you can do R1. I kind of missed the guy I was going for, but you can you can just do something like that. Square, 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 triangle into triangle, triangle, square, square, square. And then, you know, when you're doing triangle, triangle, square, 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 you can just do special two at any point to get a really powerful combo finisher on a boss. So time skip Sanji is a big improvement over pre-time skip Sanji in my opinion. He has a more useful moveset overall and he has all the same moves that were really strong for pre-time skip Sanji. So he becomes one of the best characters in my opinion because he's a really really hard hitter. He stays in the air a lot which makes him very safe. Something that is really important when you're playing Nightmare Dream Log. He does still lack like a really genuine crowd control option, but he hits so hard and he has so much flexibility in his playstyle that if you make use of that, you're gonna be able to keep up with the crowd control, at lacking crowd control aspect. Oh, let me just show his taunt real quick. Similar to pre-time skip Sanji's, he'll put his uh, tie up or down. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any comments, just or if you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'm gonna be off the next couple days, by the way, so I'm definitely gonna be trying to wrap up or cover a good portion of characters in the next couple of days so look forward to that guys uh you can request any specific characters i already have a large portion of the cast already requested i'm just kind of putting them in priority of like who's being requested the most or who was requested first and i also plan to do a review for this game probably with a couple days before it releases in the west so that you guys can see everything that you can expect from this game Alright, see you later guys.